Well, howdy there, folks. Justin here again. Uh, today I'm not doing a build or really review or anything like that. I'm starting what I'm going to call What's New Wednesday. It's not what's new in the way of general Lego sets and that kind of stuff, but uh, it's what's new in my collection. So, let's start with this. Lego Overwatch set. 75977 seven, Junkrat and Roadhog, eight, uh, excuse me, not 800, 380 pieces. And uh, as you can see, I got this at Walmart clearance. If I recall correctly, this is a $50, yep, this is a $50 set. Got it, half off. And I prefer this side of it, actually. The, 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 this, this side of the box, this image, this art is, is better. This is more traditional Lego box design. This I like. Now, again, I have never played Overwatch. Uh, I, I don't know if I've actually said that before, but I've never played Overwatch. Don't really have any interest in playing Overwatch. Um, but uh, I have I have the mechs uh, for Reinhardt and Diva. Uh, Going to be rebuilding those eventually. Um, but I thought, you know what? It's half off. Why not get it? Now, then we have uh, set 70418, JB's Ghost Lab from the Hidden Side theme, uh, 174 pieces. Um, I've talked about Hidden Side before. Uh, it's a set that's going to be retired. It's a series. It's a theme that's going to be retiring uh, soon. So if you if you like any of these sets and you don't already have them, I recommend picking them up. And if, you, if there's any sets that you really, really like, and there are pieces that you've only found in them, I recommend, and you want more of those pieces, I recommend you picking them up as soon as you can, because they're not making more. But uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, I, again, I'm not a big fan of the the app, but. Select sets. So, and we got ourselves another hidden side set. 70421 El Fuego Stunt Truck with 428 pieces. Just like I said with JB's Lab, not a fan of the app, but that's okay. Because this set looks cool. Back into the Walmart clearance section, uh, we have set 41378, Dolphin's Rescue Mission. It's a friend's set, 363 pieces. Um, I kept hoping, I kept hoping that the the price would go down even more. It is uh, uh, no, it's not a forty dollars set. What was this? I don't remember. Anyways, whatever it was. It's down to 32. And uh, I thought I had missed out on this because uh, I went in uh, a couple weeks back and they were, uh, there were none on the shelf anymore. Um, but uh, last week I went in, they had one. I got it. Um, oh, big boy, big boy. Wait, don't I already have this? Yes, but now I have two. And I guess I should uh, talk about it a little bit. You know, it is set 11717. It has 1,504 pieces. The four pieces in it, above the one, uh, 1,500, as you can see, are these four 16 by 16 plates. So, I'm not going to open those and part them out uh, until I have at least one more. I'm hoping to, I'm hoping to get a total of five. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, and I got these uh, as more of an investment. Um, but I'm not 100% sure how well the investment's going to pay off. Um, but I got two of the Hidden Side buses. Uh, I found them at a ridiculously good price match opportunity. Um, and... Uh, let me put it this way. For the price of both of these, the, for the price that I paid for both of these, it wouldn't have bought 
one at the regular store price. But eh, in a year or so, I'll I'll check the market, see how see what they're going for. If they're going for a decent amount, I'll sell them then. Uh, if not, I may open them and make uh, try try to make a, a standard school bus uh, mock out of one and then a monster truck out of the other. So who knows? I don't know. Check back in a year. <laughs> Actually, keep checking back because I'm making videos. Uh, I'm trying to make videos every day this month. Um, so, yeah. Hmm. All right. And uh, because it's spooky month, October, uh, and I hadn't ever gotten any before, um, I thought it was time. So I have some Harry Potter sets now. Uh, starting off, showing you uh, Expecto Patronum. It is set 75945. It has 121 pieces. Yep. Then we have 75965, The Rise of Voldemort, with 184 pieces. Uh, I'm really liking, I'm really liking this Reaper here uh, on the the grave. That's going to be uh, an interesting thing to have, um, at least the colors and stuff. And you know, Death Eater isn't bad. Eh, eh, eh uh, uh, Voldemort, Peter Pettigrew. Eh. But oh, I guess I should go back to this. The stag looks really nice, although it uh, it, it looks very similar to the uh, um, the stuff. Uh, one of the th one of the things from a uh, actually the first build video that I have on my channel, the uh, uh, Elsa's jewelry box creation. Um, but uh, I also really like the fact that there are two Dementors. Two Dementors in this set. I really like that. So, they'll come in handy in uh, various ways. Um, then, of course, we have 75946, the Hungarian Horntail Triwizard Challenge, 265 pieces. That dragon looks sweet. I got the set mostly for the dragon, but uh, the other pieces and such are fun as well. But yeah, I mostly got it for the dragon. Um... Then we have set 75956, Quidditch Match, a solid 500 pieces. I got this because it was uh, also part of the ridiculously uh, cheap uh, price match opportunity. Then there's 75947, Hagrid's Hut, Buckbeak's Rescue, 496 pieces. I got this because it's got Hagrid and Buckbeak and... The Executioner dude uh, could come in handy for other things, um, and the Minister of Magic. It could easily fit into, you know, any sort of Lego city um, as some sort of official. And then, uh, because I don't actually, I had, had never, all the sets that I have, I had never actually acquired a full new or full used Lego train. So now I have one. 75955, the Hogwarts Express. 801 pieces. Again, I like this one because it has a Dementor, which means I now have three. Um, although I'm very, very tempted. I am very, very tempted to get some more uh, Expecto Patronum sets because it has two Dementors. And I can always mix and match, uh, you know, torsos and legs uh, from Sirius and Harry uh, for other things. But, uh, but yeah, the, uh, I have a train, yay! Um, unfortunately, if I recall correctly, yeah, it doesn't come with any tracks. So it's a train, but not a train, you know. But, uh, yeah, that is what I have acquired recently. So, now I just need to go through and rearrange my backlog shelf so that this will all sit up there. <laughs> That's going to be an adventure. All right. Uh, 
what have you found lately? What uh, what uh, new sets have you acquired? What new pieces and so on and so forth? Um, I'd be interested in hearing that down in the comments. Oh, well, if you enjoyed this video, I uh, appreciate the watch. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in... Oh, I almost forgot. October 16th of this year. Uh, uh, so you have, as of the date of this uh, posting, uh, as of the date of this video going live, it will be nine days for you to submit your questions. Uh, and for a Q&A video that I am po posting on uh, uh, for a Q&A video that I am posting October 16th 2020 and uh, obviously Lego questions are preferred but anything else feel free to ask I may or may not answer depending on what the question is well uh, thank you very much for watching have yourselves a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video bye bye